Good morning. You are listening to Upreach, a morning devotional presented by the Church Street Church of Christ in Lewisburg, Tennessee, to encourage you as you face the opportunities and challenges of today. Let's begin this day together with some inspiring thoughts from God's Holy Word. Now it came to pass, when Jesus had finished these parables, that he departed from there. When he had come to his own country, he taught them in their synagogue, so that they were astonished, and said, Where did this man get this wisdom and these mighty works? Is this not the carpenter's son? Is not his mother called Mary, and his brothers James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas? And his sisters, are they not all with us? Where then did this man get all these things? So they were offended at him. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his own country and in his own house. Now he did not do many mighty works there because of their unbelief. Matthew chapter 13, verses 53 through 58. Have you ever noticed that you can learn a lot about people in traffic? For instance, I observe a lot when I see 20 cars in one line and only three cars in another. The reason for the longer line is these people want to make sure they get to make their turn after the light. I, on the other hand, want to get through the light first, then I will worry about making the next turn. This is a difference in risk-taking tolerance or perhaps faith, or even some might argue with me that I'm operating out of presumption versus real faith. No matter which person you might be in this situation, it is sure that faith is often spelled R-I-S-K. In the Old Testament, when the priests carry the ark into the Jordan River at flood stage, there is a risk they might lose the ark in the Jordan River. However, that is not what happens. And it shall come to pass, as soon as the soles of the feet of the priests who bear the ark of the Lord, the Lord of all the earth, shall rest in the waters of the Jordan, that the waters of the Jordan shall be cut off, the waters that come down from upstream, and they shall stand as a heap. Joshua chapter 3, verse 13. God changes the entire environment and makes it possible to walk across without the pressure of wading through the powerful water only when they take the first step. Risk means there is a potential for loss. However, when God leads us to take a risk, then He is there whether we succeed or fail. He is there in the success, and He is there in the failure. If He leads you to take a risk, you may not always succeed in the way you think. In fact, you may even fail. But remember, the only true failure is when we fail to take the risk when God is leading us to do so. Sometimes the fear of failure is a greater obstacle than the risk itself. Has God called you to step out in an area that requires risk? This could be the place he wants you to move. Ask Jesus to give you the courage today to step out in faith. This has been Upreach, a presentation of the Church Street Church of Christ in Lewisburg, Tennessee. I am Kyle Bolton, the pulpit minister at Church Street, and I would like to personally invite you to come and share times of Bible study and worship with us each week. We meet every Sunday at 9 o'clock a.m. for our morning worship, followed by our Sunday school for all ages at 10.15 a.m. Then we meet again at 6 o'clock p.m. for our evening worship. We also have a midweek meeting for devotion and Bible study on Wednesdays at 6.30 p.m. I hope to see you there. Have a blessed day.